What's going on guys? I'm down here in my basement. Uh, the lighting's a little weird here. I look a little, I don't know, off color, red. But regardless, I wanted to do a quick follow-up video after using the Anycubic Mega S 3D printer for the better part of a year. My initial review was this was an awesome 3D printer for the price. And you can go check out that review of this printer as well. It's on my channel. So since purchasing this printer, I've put many hours on this thing. I'm still working on a huge print project and looking back through my logs on uh, OctoPrint Anywhere, which is now called the Spaghetti Detective, the printer has been printing for over 500 hours. Uh, that's like, uh, uh, um, I did the calculations, 21 days of straight printing. For all those hours, I've had minimal issues with this printer. Most of the time, it was either user error, either not setting the correct print temp, or not slicing the models correctly. As an aside, the Spaghetti Detective is an aptly named plugin for OctoPrint because it monitors your 3D printer, or the print, using the camera. I wonder if that in frame here, but anyways, I have a webcam right over here that's hooked up to OctoPrint aimed at the printer on the print bed. And it starts looking for quote unquote spaghetti when prints start to fail. Now it can contact you by text or email when it does detect a print failure. And it actually has, I've had like one failure and it did successfully contact me and I was able to stop the print. So that saved me a bunch of time and filament. Uh, but there is a fee to use it, so it's not free. Anyways, back to my Anycubic Mega S. My experience so far is this printer's been great. I can change the print nozzle without having to re-level the print bed. But uh, I know you should re-level it, but I'm just lazy. But I haven't had any issues. It's worked fine. And as a tip, always keep a whole bunch of print nozzles handy. They do wear out. They're inexpensive. So keep a bunch. Um, I never bother to clean them. I just change them out and consider them a consumable item. So far I'm on my, I wanna say third or fourth print nozzle, you know, over 500 hours of printing. So no complaints there. And also the hot end has been holding up real well too. Same with the Bowden tube. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really liking that uh, hot end. I had a, a bad experience with a hot end on the PrinterBot Play years ago. So ever since then, I've been a little bit kind of, yeah, I always keep an eye out on the hot end. Now, the aftermarket support from Anycubic for this printer has been excellent. I've had to contact them uh, several times because I had an issue with one of the fans, a bit a minor issue. The fan was a bit loud, so they shipped me a whole new power supply uh, instead of just shipping me the fan because they said it was safer to swap the whole power supply than just the fan. They probably don't want someone going mucking around in there, you know, near any capacitors or anything like that. I wouldn't have mind doing it. They could just ship me the fan. But anyways, that was really nice of them. Another issue was the extruder filament loading arm broke. And I have it here somewhere. I'll, I'll show you guys here in the B-roll. The design of this one part was not very strong. As you apply pressure on it every time you change the filament and the plastic isn't really robust. Anycubic was fast to ship me another arm. Actually, they shipped me a whole other extruder assembly so I could just swap it out. In the interim though, I wasn't able to use the printer. So what I did was I went online. You gotta love the 3D uh, printing community. I was able to find an arm. Uh, I printed out an arm because I could get the printer to at least work. Uh, a little bit and I was able to print out an arm and then I installed it. So it's a machine kind of like a lathe. It's a machine that can make a machine. I'll post a link in the description for the part that broke. So in case you guys ever come across that you can print your own. The one issue and it's less of an actual issue and more of wear and tear on the printer. As you notice on this printer I have blue painters tape on it and it's that really awesome heated print bed, the glass is coated with this really magical coating that releases prints when the prints cool off or when the print bed cools off. The issue I had was after a bunch of wear and tear, the prints stopped adhering to the print bed um, during the initial uh, first layer. So that's not good. When it worked, it was awesome, but I have read that others have had the same issue. Anycubic offered to send me a new print bed for 35 bucks which included shipping, which isn't too bad, 
But I just decided to, instead of just ta instead of doing that, because it's going to wear out again, I just use blue painter's tape. Not a big deal. It works really well. Great adhesion. The, the only minor thing is sometimes it is hard to get the prints to release from the blue painter's tape because the adhesion is almost too good. But that's okay. It just ruins some of the tape. I just peel it off, put some new tape on. Not a big deal. So after nine months, my impressions of this printer is I'm still very impressed with it and I would highly recommend it to anyone, ooh, I'm sitting on a bucket, to anyone who's looking for a good budget printer that performs well and has good customer support from the manufacturer. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this follow-up review. Check out my initial review of this printer on my channel if you haven't already seen that and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'll soon eventually be able to share the super big print job. Uh, I did post on Instagram uh, what I've been printing so if you want to you can go over there and check that out. All right bye for now.